should begin is uh, with the history of uh, the Recreation Center as established by the city of Myrtle Beach and Frank Beckham, my father, being the first director of uh, Parks and Recreation for the city of Myrtle Beach. Uh, going into the early 1960s and the mid-60s, my father was uh, instrumental in building all the ball fields. Stripe is getting all the young people involved in ball programs, everything from baseball to football to basketball. He had a vision of building a recreation center located on 33rd Avenue North on Oak Street. During the early and mid 60s, there was a gentleman, uh, Arthur J. Gettings. My father affectionately named him Pepper. Pepper was like a Pied Piper. He was a sportsman, he was a true gentleman on the, on the uh, fields and off the fields, and he was a, he was a leader in Myrtle Beach. So as the recreation center was under construction, Pepper was off at college, and unfortunately he was injured in a baseball incident where he was struck in the head with a baseball and subsequently died from those injuries. Uh, Pepper died in 1968. And I believe the building opened in 1969. The building was named after Pepper. Um, I think that was something that served this city very well and still does today. Brings back a lot of great memories. So I think the Pepper Gettings Recreation Center serves a wonderful purpose. When we were in our youth, we wanted to be there and to be something special. And now that we have grown up, we want to be special and, and revisit our youth by going to the recreation center to try and capture some of our youth back. It doesn't necessarily work that well, uh, but I can only imagine all the children who have grown up through all these programs and, and, and walked the halls and been on the courts at uh, the Pepper Gettings Recreation Center, and they still do today. I just can't say enough how much that recreation center has built character of the people who have not only gone through it, but have become people of this community over the years.